Executives from some of the world's largest tech companies appeared on Capitol Hill today to testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee. Leaders from Apple, Facebook, Google, and Amazon all took turns to publicly defend their respective companies. But despite saying their platforms all rely on a vibrant social ecosystem that encourages competition, lawmakers suggested otherwise. I would look at the pharmaceutical industry in according to a 2018 Yale study, some pharmaceutical companies seem to engage in what they called killer acquisitions where they would buy smaller firms and then shut down potentially competing projects. And research, uh, researchers actually found that when that happened, it was more likely that the acquired company's competing drug would be discontinued. So I, I'm not saying it's, it's directly parallel, but it is one of the concerns I have. CNET senior producer Dan Patterson joins us now. So, uh, Dan, it was discussed that since 2011 there has not been a single independent launch of a new social platform. Why is this? Well, we get a little fuzzy when we talk about what is a social platform because social is infused in almost every technology product that we use now. But when we look at the course of major social distribution platforms like Facebook or the Facebook derivative Instagram, we can draw parallels to other companies like Snapchat, where Facebook once offered $3 billion to buy the company. Wow. The company turned it down. Then Facebook launched copycat features into Instagram, effectively killing uh, the snap, the growth of Snapchat. We see behavior like this throughout the course of tech, and it's really amplified after 2011. Well, it seems as though regulating big tech seems to be one of the only things that unifies both sides of the aisle. So what was the purpose of today's meeting on Capitol Hill? Was progress made between the tech giants and lawmakers? That's great, Elaine. We are starting to hear notes of unity. What? <laughs> so, it isn't so, Dan. I can't believe it. Stop the presses. It's, it is not culture. It is not politics. Right. It brings people together. It is this distrust of Facebook and technology as a whole. So. On the left, uh, we hear political candidates like Elizabeth Warren and others proposing breaking up the big tech giants because they see these as hegemonic monopolies that are too big for their own good. Mm -hmm. On the right, we see these allegations of censorship over and over again. However, we should say, Elaine, that these allegations of, cen of censorship by the right are totally unwarranted. There is not one sh single shred of proof that tech companies are favoring liberals over conservatives. Hmm. All right, so the power of big tech has been a huge area of debate ahead of the 2020 presidential election. Senator Elizabeth Warren, of course, has argued to break up large tech firms to limit their power. What impact might that have if it was actually carried out? Well, look, the challenge with Warren's plan is that Warren doesn't have a plan. Uh, she has proposed breaking up big tech companies, but the particulars are still pretty vague. Mm. The real challenge here, though, is technological, and that is with what we call APIs. These are application programming interfaces, and this is the way tech applications interface with each other. Uh, an API can be built open, it can be built closed or it can be built selectively, which means a Facebook API may interface with another Facebook API seamlessly, but we can throw up all kinds of walls when it comes to interoperability with other tech platforms, mm. which means we don't have a set of standards, right. which means that breaking up these companies is nearly impossible without a very specific proposal designed for every single platform. I mean, it just sounds like, once again, technology has surpassed where the law is, and it's so difficult for the law to catch up with all of this. Um, so what about uh, measures in place to regulate the use of antitrust laws? So the use of antitrust laws uh, will come into play in some way, shape, or form. We just can't agree on how. Mm. So even the, the method by which we might implement some sort of regulation is still pretty vague. We have some precedent. We can look at the GDPR, that's the General right. Data Protection Regulation that went into effect in Europe last spring. That's a precedent, so is California's new data law. Uh, but really when it comes to uh, something that might break up the tech companies, protect your data privacy, and allow for innovation to still happen. Well, Elaine, we have a lot of challenges right there. Long way to go. Dan Patterson. Dan, thanks so much. Good to see you.